Hi everyone, welcome to your Indigo Art Project on Drawing with Soft Pastels. Let's get started. First, we'll review our art inspiration, then we'll take a look at our supplies and get set up. Next, we'll review one way to draw, and finally, we'll learn how to add and blend color with soft pastels. Let's take a look at our art inspiration. Today, we have two paintings by Edgar Degas. The Green Dancer from 1879 and his Pink Dancer that he created nearly 20 years later. Degas is considered an Impressionist artist by many, but Degas actually considered himself more of a realist artist who painted everyday scenes indoors rather than in the open air like the Impressionists. He also carefully studied the great art masters and planned out his paintings ahead of time rather than creating art spontaneously. Degas was especially interested in the human figure and captured strange postures and unusual angles in his subjects. Notice the posture of the ballerinas in these paintings and the angles of their body. Degas has also blended color in an innovative way in these paintings using soft pastels that also allowed him to create an interesting texture in his art. Now let's take what we've learned about Degas and express something of our own in our soft pastel drawing. Let's quickly review the materials. Soft pastels look somewhat like chalk, but are made of a different type of material in pigment that allows us to use it to create art on paper. You can see that we can easily break apart the sticks for easy handling. Soft pastels allow you to build up layers of color in your drawing and to blend colors, creating a different type of texture. The soft pastel paper is a thicker paper and made especially for pastels so that it can absorb the powdery-like material. The plexiglass is a tool that will help us understand how to draw lines and measure proportions in our drawing. As we learn how to see the lines and practice drawing, we won't even need it. Note that we're just using Degas' pink and green dancers for learning and inspiration. For our drawing, we'll want to try to make our art unique. As we learn from other artists, we'll want to develop our own creative approach to making art over time. You can, for example, draw different colors in your drawing or draw the dancers in a different style. For now, let's practice one way to draw the pink dancer. Tape the soft pastel or sketch paper in front of you. Use the sketch paper for practice and the soft pastel paper if you're ready to create your final product. Grab your plexiglass sheet, dry erase marker, and a note card. Place the note card directly over the art inspiration and trace it so that we can define our drawing area. Then fold the note card twice so that you have four quadrants. We'll use the note card to help us draw four quadrants onto the plexiglass. The quadrants will help us break down the drawing into four parts as we learn to draw the dancer. Now place the plexiglass over the art inspiration and begin to outline the image of the dancer. Here we are just getting a feel for how to draw the lines. We don't want to copy the work of art, but this will help us get a better idea for how lines can be drawn to form an image of the dancer. As we build our confidence in drawing, we can then try drawing the dancer in new ways. Now we'll draw the outline in quadrants with pencil on our soft pastel paper. Next, we'll start to use one technique that will be helpful to get the proportions and relationships right in our drawing. We'll use our pencil to measure where the lines on the plexiglass are so that we can transfer the image to our soft pastel paper. Start in one quadrant and make soft pencil marks where the body of the dancer falls in each quadrant. Work your way around the image, making small soft dots that will show you where to connect the lines when we draw you'll start to better understand the proportions and relationships when we draw in this way. How far the body of the dancer falls from the edge of the picture area, or where the head of the dancer is in relation to the middle of the picture area.
Now begin to make short, soft lines to connect the dots. Make sure to take time looking at the image of the dancer on the plexiglass that you're drawing to understand how to connect the lines. As we transfer the image onto our paper, we're trying to understand how to see the lines. The information that we need is actually in the image on the plexiglass, rather than what we're sketching. So instead of focusing too much on your sketch, look for the information on the plexiglass drawing. You can overlay the plexiglass on your sketch to see if you're getting the relationships right. But keep in mind, the drawing doesn't need to be perfect. Remember, we want to draw something a bit different from the artwork so that we can explore our own sense of creativity. Learning to draw is like learning to read. Just as we practice sounding out the letters to form words, here we're practicing how to sketch lines and how to understand relationships in order to draw. Now set aside your sketch and start to experiment with soft pastels and different techniques for blending. Use one of your sheets of soft pastel paper and draw several different boxes on the paper. In the first box, try out making straight diagonal lines in one direction and then softly rubbing the lines with your finger and see the effect. Choose another color to make lines in the opposite direction over the first color. Notice how the colors blend. In the second box, choose any color and draw curly lines in a circular motion. This is called scrumbling. Try smudging the color with your fingers to see the effect. What happens when you add another color? Continue to test out the colors and smudging with your finger or paper towel. Try out drawing an image that you might include in your drawing, like the ballet skirt. Note that you'll need to cover up your final work of art with glass, plastic, or a fixative when you finish, to protect your work from any smudging. Now you're ready to apply soft pastel to your pencil drawing. Place your drawing back in front of you and softly erase any pencil marks that the soft pastels might not cover up in your drawing. Perhaps the dotted lines or hash marks that you used for the quadrants. We'll start with green and make soft lines in an outward motion, and then begin to smudge with our fingers. Now we'll overlay a bit of yellow. We'll start to fill in parts of the skirts near the ballerina's waist with a purple and blue color. And then red in a few spots on the skirt. Have fun choosing colors and see how they can blend together.
For the skin tone, we'll use a bit of yellow. And then brown and smudge. We'll apply a bit of red at the top part of the ballerina's dress. And brown for the hair. You can cover up the face with her hair so you don't have to worry about any of the facial features. Finally, we'll outline the form with a bit of black and brown to give more definition to the ballerina's shape. and carefully blend in a bit of purple on the skirt. You can use white to blend in the skin tone and blend in other areas of the skirt. Then we'll add color in the background with a different color in a different direction for an interesting effect. You can separate out the top part from the bottom part of the background by using different colors. Feel free to take the drawing in any direction that you like and explore your own sense of style and creativity. Congrats, you've just finished a soft pastel drawing inspired by Edgar Degas. Share it online, frame it, or even keep working on it. Practice the skills that you've learned while you wait for your next Indigo art box to arrive in the mail.